Hey everybody, it's Ben and I'm in my driveway and we got a little bit of a treat for you today. Uh, back behind me here is the Marquette University e-limo. This is a, uh, it's the student safety uh, vehicle sort of thing. They go around and uh, pick up students at the end of the night, bring them back to their dorms, that sort of a thing. But what's cool about this is this one is electric. Uh, so this university is based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I live about halfway between there and Madison, Wisconsin. There's a clean transportation event going on tomorrow, and they wanted to drive this out to that event and needed some place to uh, recharge. So it's parked in my driveway tonight, and I figured, well, we got it here. Why not take a look? And it's kind of giving me a few ideas for maybe what I want to do for my hybrid pickup truck project. So let's take the camera, go under the van, and have a look. So to start with, this is a pretty big van. It's based on an E350 body. Uh, so this is like, uh, this is a big one. There's lots of room back behind the uh, rear axle. So there's enough room for both the spare tire and a battery pack both. Um, now on my pickup truck, there's not gonna be that much room for both, but I always thought that uh, doing a battery pack like that, where the spare tire is seems to make uh, a lot of sense in terms of where where you put things. A friend of mine has an electric El Camino he did that in. This is one of the big vans back here you can see uh, there's the backup beeper and they also did uh, some color coding where anywhere there was any high voltage wiring uh, it's orange which is kind of sort of industry standard now for uh, hybrids and electric vehicles. So here's uh, one chunk of the batteries. I do not remember what brand these are offhand. But they are green, and uh, tomorrow I'll do an interview with the professor in charge of this project, and I'll, uh, I'll ask him about all that kind of stuff, what brand batteries they're using and all that kind of thing. So under the sides of the van, on either side, is uh, a big, long battery box. Uh, these are on either side of the drive shaft. Let's see if we can get the camera. I can't actually see what I'm doing with the camera, but... There we go. So what we have is right down the middle, you got the drive shaft and then boxes of batteries on either side of them, pretty much running the entire length of the drive shaft uh, that is commonly done on electric pickup trucks and things like that. Um, if I were to do this on a hybrid pickup truck, I would still need to leave room for both a fuel tank and the exhaust system. So I might be able to do something like uh, put the fuel tank in the bed, but I would still need to leave some room for uh, exhaust pipe and muffler. Here, no need to do that. So that's a lot of batteries. This is kind of cool. I just realized that from here I can see the back of the charging port, the original uh, gas uh, fuel filler right here. Uh, so this is the back end of where the electricity comes in. And uh, here's your power cord going off to the charger. So that's what that looks like from the outside of the van. It's your typical uh, gas cover modified using a 20 amp twist lock 240 volt connector. Now further up uh, towards the front of the van, this is the electric motor. This is an Azure Dynamics. And what's kind of neat about this is there is no transmission that the drive shaft is coming directly off that motor. So the only gearing that you have going on here at all is uh, back in the differential. Um, so that drive shaft is coming straight off that electric motor. And then it comes back, has sort of a, uh, oh, a, a bearing block as part of this big bracket, which is also kind of part of the part of the battery box and then it goes all the way back to the differential so there's no transmission and there's no other single speed gearing in here other than the differential now obviously that's going to have some limitations for top speed but uh it's just an on-campus only vehicle that's really not a limitation at all and again here we can see the battery boxes that go all the way to the back of the vehicle now, of course, there's a lot more fun stuff on this vehicle under the hood and on the dashboard. And we'll take a look at that tomorrow when I do an interview with the uh, professor who headed up this project. So till next time, keep building cool electric stuff.